Scott Wilson's Kia Soul EV is his third electric car. As vice chair of the Washington Area Electric Vehicle Association, Wilson has seen the market grow. There used to be I knew everyone I saw that was driving a, an electric car. Now I don't. U.S. sales of electric vehicles hit a record last year at about 150,000. That's still less than 1% of the domestic market. But automakers around the world are announcing big plans for electrification. Fred Liguri is a spokesman for U.S. auto giant General Motors. We really see that future as being electric. We have announced recently 20 new uh, electric vehicles by the year 2023 for global markets. Last December, General Motors launched the Bolt EV. It's the first mid-priced electric vehicle with a range of more than 350 kilometers. The Bolt EV beat industry upstart Tesla to market. About 15,000 have sold so far. But nearly half a million people have ordered the comparable Tesla Model 3, even though they face long waits for delivery. That makes industry watchers optimistic, says the World Resources Institute's Elliot Metzger via Skype. Um, those are signals that there's a, a sort of un, unmet demand for some of these new, new technologies. And that's, I think, what people are reading into. Experts also note that battery costs are falling faster than expected. As costs come down, analysts are moving up the date when electric vehicles can compete with gas and diesel on price, says the International Council on Clean Transportation's Nick Lutze via Skype. Uh, we're uh, much further along than most uh, researchers, industry insiders uh, would have projected just two or three years ago. The auto industry is also responding to pressure from China. Officials in the world's biggest auto market will require car makers to meet an electric vehicle quota starting in 2019. It's part of the government's plan to clean up the toxic air in China's major cities, Metzger says. You don't have the, the tailpipes that are spewing out uh, urban uh, air pollution. And that, you know, it's, it's a factor for public health, um, quality of life. And it's not just China. Pollution concerns in France, the United Kingdom and India have officials there considering bans too. But the Trump administration aims to relax regulations on vehicles. Without a push from government, experts say electric cars may have a hard time making major gains when gas prices are low. But Scott Wilson notes that can always change. So after the next crisis, when gas is $5 a gallon, then people, there'll be waiting lists for cars like this. In the meantime, Wilson says he's happy to be all electric. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Washington.